and foster your interest to apply our MBA program. Uh, so, um, just uh, first of all, just a very brief outline of our curriculum. Actually, we did a curriculum revamp. We have a brand new curriculum starting from uh, uh, September 2017. Okay. Uh, second is that so we have a new subject called Business Analytics. So this is because uh, big data. So nowadays it's very popular. So we, we offer this as a new compulsory subject. And this is also why today we have uh, Dr. Yang Yang here to share us about uh, artificial intelligence. So today I will uh, share some experience of my practice in AI area and how I let you know what are the real uh, artificial intelligence practice in, uh, in the all industry. Our company IP was listed as a as a challenger to IBM uh, in the in the, in, uh, in this February in the United States. Uh, it was reported by the Wall Street Journal and say hey, as a Chinese company came out and it, it is challenging IBM in the uh, cognitive in, uh, intelligence area. So later, later on, I will let you know what is a co uh, cognitive intelligence. Actually, it's a very cutting edge area of artificial intelligence, and also it's the, the latest. Uh, it, will, uh, it will have a huge impact in all business area in the future. AI is uh, AI is uh, feeding on the data. It requires a lot of data to train a machine. Just like, for example, if you want to teach your children to learn something, you have to repeat it again, again, and again, right? So, so we, uh, if you have a habit, the habit has to be uh, raised by nearly uh, uh, at least 50 times repeat, uh, re re repeat right? Uh, here, the same, if you want to teach the machine to learn something, you, 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 you definitely have to give it a lot of examples. However, this one can largely lower the, the, the requirement of the sample size. And another one, a very interesting one is GAN, G-A-N. Generative advisory network, and this one, see hey, this is a man. This is man. This is a picture of, of man with glasses, and this picture was man without glasses. Plus the women without glasses, and the computers can create new pictures. And if, if I have another recognizer to say uh, uh, to, to judge which picture is natural, and then the, the computer can learn it by itself. This is very important for the for the AI. Um, the, search, the, the third area of uh, AI is the natural language understanding. In this area, it's still very, very difficult. How, for, for example, um, polyu. What is polyu? How can computer understand polyu? It's a word, right? It's just a word. However, this word, the meaning behind this word cannot just be uh, represented by these five letters, right? The same thing for Huawei, for Tencent, all these giant companies. What's the meaning behind that? How can computers understand the meaning behind these words? It's not easy. It's still a very difficult word. In the job market scenario, in the recruiting scenario, I like drinking means you may be a good sales. Right? However, in the legal scenario, you like drinking may bring us a little problem, right? So for for the same sentence, for the same words in a different area, machines should take totally different understanding. And that and that is the cognitive computer. So there are a lot of applications for the um, for the tennis engines and the enterprise assessment engines. So this is for the basic opportunity and for you say here we have 20, 50 people here, right? However, what is the relationship between any two of you? Do you know that? No. Even, even, even your profile was listed in this wall. We still, it will took a lot, a lot of time to compute the detailed relationship between any two of you, right? However, for the computer, with the uh, complete computing, this, this is very easy. Professor, I want to know that uh, where did you get your training data? Your the training, training data? data? Yeah. Where did okay. You and uh, the time. Type of the training data. Type of training data. Or Ooh. voice image. This is a very essential question for, 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 the, for, the, for our business strategy. And very beginning we got data from our customers. There are a lot of big, uh, big companies they you know uh, nearly all giants in each in each industry, they have already collected a lot of the data. 
they provide data. However, we have a very, uh, we have very high requirement for the for, for data. That means the validity of data is, is essential. And we have to believe that this data, they are serious. They have very high quality, and this is a, this is what we recover. Curious about the type. The type. Uh, the data type. Uh, you mean text? Uh, text or text, words yes. or email? We are using, we, use we text. only use text. And, uh, because we are, because we are doing the research in the social common sense. So you use text for uh, for data training data, and you use the model, right? Yeah, we only use uh, uh, text data. We don't use uh, we don't use visual visual or, or voice data. Okay. 